Well, you and Nipsey Hussle have a song together called mm-hmm. Turned Up. Mm-hmm. Were you and Nipsey close at all, or? Um, me and Nip was cool. Um, I didn't talk to Nip every day, but when we did see each other, um, we smiled and uh, uh, did our little talking and uh, updated each other, and we parted. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, it was nice watching him uh, grow. Yeah, yeah. I interviewed him a few years back. Okay. And you know, we ran into each other from time to time. Yeah. Uh, good dude, good spirit. Yeah, hell of a um, spirit. Very, very much. You know, when, when you look at the business moves that the Dipsy ended up doing yeah. later on, yeah. he was talking about all that in our interview, like. Right, when he was young. Four four years ago or something. That's right, when he was young, when you didn't yeah. expect this shit to fly out of his mouth, yeah. here he come with a whole bunch of positivity, buying, yeah. owning. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, yeah. He had a head on his shoulders, man, for sure. Uh, how did you feel when you heard the news about Nipsey? Just sad. Yeah. Sad, man. You know, just sad. You know, it's an eye opener. Yeah. A shot. Yeah, man, and to see how the city, you know, Came together. Came together for his funeral. You yeah. Know, sold out the Staples Center. The first person right. to do that since Michael Jackson. Yeah. In L.A. Right. right. Um, and you know, I think Nipsey is so celebrated, not really because of his rapping. It's because of what he did outside of rap. Right. You know, he was a dope rapper, but he was really right. more of an underground rapper. Right. He was not on the radio because people right. people like to compare him to Tupac these days, and it's okay. like, did you know Tupac? No, I didn't know Pac personally. Okay, no, but you know Pac, you know, was an incredible artist, but I never considered him a businessman. Okay, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? I Maybe know. later on in life because right. he was only 25 when he passed. Mm-hmm. But you know, not everyone wants to run a business and okay. deal with all the headaches around okay. it. Okay. Pac, I think Pac was focused on his music. Right. Nipsey was focused on his music, but he was also very much focused on his business. Right, which brought people together, yeah. uh, how he helped people. Yes. And uh, taught people and, and um, how smart he was yeah. about business. You know what I mean? I think in, in, in our community, that's amazing. That's what we want, you know what I mean? And to see your brother right next to you doing that, it automatically make you feel like, dang, man, I can do this. I can do this too. Mm-hmm. Okay, this do work. You know, it just requires more of me, more, more of my time uh, to make this actually happen and stand up. Yeah. Um, I realize how big that is. Yeah. You know, and it also highlights what happens sometimes when you try to help your community and you spend time in your community, how, how the hatred uh-huh. From your own community is is worse. Yeah. The, some yeah. of the worst things, you know, yeah. that you could experience. Yeah. Um, but you know, I hope and pray, man, that that it get right. You know. Yeah. Because you know, we we can't go nowhere but up from here. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, shout out to Big U who did the right on. The, uh, right on. The, the gang peace march, I think, right is what on. it was called, where right you on. see rolling yeah. '60s and a tray gangsters right on. Yeah. together for the first time in 40 years, <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah. and everything. Um, yeah, yeah, man, it's a it's a fucking tragedy. Yeah, man. Um, you know, people comparing him to Jesus Christ now. Yeah. Um, you know, that's deep. It is, it is, and I think he he did some of the same things that Jesus did. I think that's why they're making the comparison. Uh, I could, I could. Yeah. Yeah.